hottie for houseplants. Yeah, sales were up 130% over five years with the Swiss cheese plant top of owner's choice. Yes, but with plant ownership comes responsibility. Love them too little yes. or too much and there could be consequences. There's nothing worse than a sad houseplant. There's really not. And I feel that's the thing that everyone comments on. Oh, she looks thirsty. Or, you know, when they come in, everyone's got an opinion. Is that when you have to post a picture of yourself scantily? Oh, that's a different comment first. Right, so... <laughs> Yes, that's is. What, isn't that what they say? You're thirsty, oh, yeah, that's what attention. Yeah, you're a yeah, bit yeah, thirsty. Yeah, yeah. Uh, OK, look at this. This is a very sad plant right here. Uh, look at it. I mean, look at Ooh. those bits there. Bits scared, look scared of being on television. <laughs> this Shaking. is a Swiss cheese plant owned by one of our production team. In fact, the most senior person on the production <laughs> team, who should be an example to us all. But He's he can't busy. look after his own busy. cheese plants. <laughs> well, here to tell us where the owner of this sorry looking house plant went wrong is Hazel Gardner. Good morning to you. Good morning. This, I feel like I really relate to this. <laughs> Because this is how everything ends up looking in my but house. Some, some leaves look good and some look awful. Well, this is the thing. So the person that own, owns this, mentioning no names, Martin. Um, uh, so he's obviously doing something right, but it needs tell at TLC, doesn't right. it? Right. It is in distress. Plants are clever. They will tell us physically when they need something. Yeah. Right. And I think we can see from the leaves, this is definitely the case mm -hmm. here. Does it need a new owner? Uh, <laughs> just just, ask. The owner just needs a little bit of training, oh, which I'm about to give. But, but yes. not, it, it's not sort of... Finished and done. Oh, this, gosh, this no. can come back gosh, to life. No. You okay. can see that there's still actually a lot of green here. Yes. So that's a really, really good sign. And even if there was a tiny bit of glimpse of green, you can still, you know, make good. Okay. So I think that's good for people to know, to not just chuck things yes. away. Right. Um, so the problem with this, when you see yellow leaves, it's either underwatering or overwatering. This is the original pot. This is what we found oh, underneath. I know. Oh, the, the judgment. Oh, the I am judging. Um, so <laughs> it's completely rot bound, a root bound. Uh, so it's pot bound, so you can see that the roots are just like, you know, searching yes. to get out there. So what we do with that, and that. It, 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 that's why it is looking the way it so, is. So, sorry, right. you said this was the pot that the owner had. This was had the it. original pot. Okay, and look at the size that you're changing it to. Yes. So, but you've got to be careful. You just want the size to be two inches right. bigger yeah. than the original. Can one. I not ask too big. a really naive question, oh, though? Nice. But to me, this is, I'm really not green fingered, so just ignore okay. me and humour me. But I understand that that's obviously, it's, it's a smaller pot than that, but that obviously still fits in it. So, what's the problem here? So, when you see, the problem is when we lift it out, you can see how bound that yes. is. It's, what, it's, the roots can't like the roots and, can't okay, get out. Okay. So they can't get any nutrients. Mm -hmm. There's no soil there mm -hmm. for it to get any oh. nutrients from. And also the soil soil is old. Right, so, this is where I'm going wrong. Yes. Too. So, yeah, right, so that okay. is means mm -hmm. it's very, you know, it's unhealthy. It needs space. Like anything that grows, it's gonna grow out of its pot. Right. Um, so we really want to I normally use a screwdriver just to really get in that soil. You don't want to remove all the old soil, right. but you want as much new soil when you okay. repot it as possible. So yes, always check like how big the plant pot goes in. Yes, you Back get. <laughs> um, so we've got some compost here. You want just like a good compost with loads of nutrients in. So you're already kind of winning once you've added this in. And as I said, we just want something that's two inches bigger. Too much soil, if you water it, it's going to just clog. It's just going to sit in water. Mm -hmm. So you don't want too much. Has that pot, hot, has that pot got holes? It, uh, yes, it has. Okay. You must make sure it has uh, okay. drainage. And that's for every house plant. And okay. would you buy the pot with holes in, sorry, or would you have to put holes in it yourself? Um, I have bought plant pots and actually drilled holes in because okay. I was obsessed with the plant pot. Right, yeah, but yeah. yeah, but mostly you really want to have you, you know, don't much need to easier. compromise the aesthetic. <laughs> exactly. Yes. Don't, yeah. just, don't compromise the design. Um, so then you want to make sure it's centered. This has already got a pole on it. You might have a smaller uh, cheese plant that doesn't have a stake. Put a stake on it and that will just really help to keep it vertical. Right, okay. And okay. then pot it in, firm it down, give it a good water when you first uh, repot it, but then make sure that the first, only the first you can put in a little test is to put your knuckle in and if there's moisture up to the second knuckle, that means it needs watering. Right, ah. got it. Okay, so, yeah. lovely. You don't want to Do you think this plant can be saved? <laughs> it totally can. So I would take off these once we've repotted it. I would take off the, the I would oh, take gosh. off the leaves that are, you know, dying. Yep. And then once it's repotted, it should be back to its gloriousness. Okay, perfect. Oh. Yes. Well, hang on a minute. Plant, let us know in about six weeks how you feel. And let us know if you want to live with yeah. us here in the studio. Yeah, because we've got That's a team right. to take care there of we go. You. There okay. we go. OK, what have you got for us? OK, so then it's, it's good for people to know exactly what's wrong with different mm -hmm. plants. So we've got an anthurium here. This is also known as a peacock plant. 
You normally see it with like bright red um, leaves. Um, as you can see here, we've actually got some discoloration That's going on. Yes. Yeah, we've got some discoloration okay. and there's holes. Now, this has been in direct sunlight. Right. So what a lot of people don't know that a lot of these plants are tropical, so they like some, but not direct sunlight. Yeah. Right. So you just want to make sure that it's, you know, somewhere that's, you know, that hasn't got that beam shining straight yeah. onto okay. it. Is that the same with an orchid? Uh, Keep it orchids, in a light place. Yeah, but not direct. direct sunlight. Yeah, a bit I've like I've spent cutters. a fortune on orchids. <gasps> a lot of people do. Yeah. Yeah, and then yeah. I just, so, yeah. yeah. yeah they're so pretty, but actually you need a lot of, you know, guidance and help and okay. reading and all that. It's a whole other show. That is. <laughs> <laughs> I can get into that. I can get into yeah. that. Yeah. So now we've got the palm plant. Now, people know this to have, like, the white kind of spokes right. that come up okay. the space. So, um, we can see this. This is a healthy one. Yeah. And we can see that we've got yellow leaves on this one. Right, so, so yellow isn't good. Yellow isn't good. It means it's in distress. It's not getting enough nutrients. So <laughs> that's healthy. <laughs> that's it's healthy. So green. I know. <laughs> that's healthy. That's and healthy. And then you can really see the yellow. Yes. But not all is lost. You just need to take off the yellow ones and then you're, you're good to go, really. Okay. It just okay. means they're old and ageing or underwatering or right. overwatering. Take those off and it should be absolutely fine. Um, and then we've got the snake plant oh, here. Like plant. This is really nice. But then you can see here that yes. it's got a horrible little dry bit, which means it's probably normally the tops of tips are browning, means it's dehydrated. Okay. So you just take that off. This probably needs to be repotted again. And would that oh. need like a actual water or a mist? Um, so Sansevieria, it needs um, to actually dry out completely. Okay. So I would normally just water it. Okay. And then let that completely dry out. And, and then water too, again. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But wait, always wait for that water to go. Okay. Yes. Um, and then I suppose it's good just to let you know like what to do just in general with yes, your house yes, plants. Um, just make sure that you're not putting them in radiators, make sure mm -hmm. you're dusting. Um, and then, yeah, just know what they are. Most people get a plant yes. and don't know what, what they are. Yeah. What, yeah. What's the, what would you say the house plant is that's kind of the easiest to take care of? Is that the lowest maintenance? So, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Yes. So, it's so I would say it's um, uh, the rubber plant that we've got over here, mm -hmm. which is yeah. really, really robust. Uh, and then also the Sansevieria, actually, yeah. is very good. It really likes really low light conditions. So if you were going on holiday, you could water it before it goes, and then you said it has to dry out. Exactly. It's, it's perfect. Like a like, perfect plant. Exactly. And another, another drought tolerant one is the ZZ plant. Exactly the same. Okay. Really good for those people who just want to kind of buy it and leave it. Um, you can water <laughs> it as much as you pay your mortgage. Oh, there we go. <laughs> well, there like we that. Go. Would you stay with us? And what we might do is just record a little section with you yeah. for our app just to tell us plants you can't kill. Absolutely. That's, yeah, that's good. Yeah. Uh, sorry, no, we're just recording that for Martin. Oh, for the boss. <laughs> Because he killed his cheese plant. <laughs> Apparently, no, it won't be on the app. It won't be on the app. Um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Amazing. And also, look at that new pot. It's very nice. Very, very nice indeed. Right.